Thanks, you guys. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. You came to make us a new creation. Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Thanks, sweetie.
Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Thank you. Thanks. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live in you, and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, good morning, everybody. And a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers with us. Praise God. Um, If you're wondering what my voice sounds a little different. It's, it's because of three days of trying to talk over the rate of the, all the music at the festival, which by the way, the festival was awesome. So thanks to everybody who came and, and helped out. And it was just a real joy. Thanks be to God. He, he saved us from all the rain again this year. And, uh, and, and we're just so thankful. Um, I have a poem that some of you mothers might appreciate. It's written by a woman named Megan Ulrich. And sometimes I want to leave, but there's nowhere really to go. Maybe we can run away together, pack our lives on our backs to remember what freedom feels like, leave the kids with Mamo and Pa, and drive until we can feel our souls again. Aw, heck, bring the kids too. I just love that poem. I, it's like, like the source of of all her angst, the source of all her, her anxieties and, and frustrations, you know, her kids, and, and yet she's like, I can't imagine my life without them. And maybe even those of us who are not mothers know something of that, you know, who of us has not got to a point where you think, gosh, I'm gonna blow this popsicle stand, uh, peace out, I'm out of here, you know? And, and then we, we check ourselves and and we realize that the popsicle stand isn't so bad and that the popsicle stand is actually pretty great even though it has its headaches from time to time and we realize that we can't imagine our lives without it and so we stay. Uh, Today, Jesus in the gospel, he says, I will not leave you orphans. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus says, I will never leave you alone. And if anybody ever had a good excuse to, to just say to humanity, peace out, you guys are crazy, you'd be the God of the universe. As for all that our Lord has done for us, all that our Lord does for us, 
and how little so many people care. If anybody ever had the right, the excuse to say, I'm out of here, it'd be Jesus. But Jesus looks at us, every human being, with love. He has that gaze of love and he says, I will not leave you alone. I will not abandon you. I will never say, peace out, I'm out of here. I'm going to blow this popsicle stand, you know, because God loves us that much. And God will never leave us alone. And we pray, we pray too, that we will never leave Jesus alone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us profess the faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now in faith we turn to God with our prayers, with faith and trust that he will hear and answer us. And now we will have the church's blessing over all of our mothers who are here. And so if there is a mother nearby you, you might place your hand on her shoulder. Otherwise, you can place your hand on your heart since our mothers are always in our hearts. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened in their vocation as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth in all they do. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect and love. 
We ask your blessing on these women. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's show our mothers a sign of our love. And you can be seated as the altar is prepared. and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you both. I do that, then go here. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May I rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed by the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right, duty, salvation, always at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. 
He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving it and gave it to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. So our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, Daniel. Thank you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. God bless you, Scarlet. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 
body of Christ. Bless you, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. God bless you, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. body of Christ, the 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 body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. May God bless you. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. May God bless you, Grace. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of body of Christ. May God bless you. The body of Christ. God bless you, Albert. The body of Christ.
I go out the side. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks again, everybody, for a great festival. And one of the nights at Columbus. And so uh, chicken dinner, everybody is welcome. Come on over. It's right down the street. And uh, at noon, I believe, is when the, draw, the raffle drawings will take place. So uh, blessings to all and a happy Mother's Day again to all mothers. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thanks, everybody. That was beautiful. I know that's because Adams took it upstairs to give communion to the choir. Uh -oh. But hopefully it will come back very soon. Please, all of them. And don't forget the Paschal. Why is, I want to take a video.